Hi there, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. I'm saying hi to you today from the UK. I have been staying here in London and Leeds with my sister over the past week or so and I do quite like it here. So in today's video, I want to take you on a tour around all of the restaurants we've been to and share with you my first impressions on the irresistible shopping scene here. Let's talk about the food here in the UK. I hope you enjoy. In London, our favorite brunch place is Drury. They have homemade style dishes that are generous in portion and they taste healthy and delicious. My sister and I both ordered roast salmon and salad and we loved it. Of course, a little afternoon tea wouldn't hurt. We found this adorable sweet shop by accident called Cutter and Squidge, but it turned out they make brownie sandwiches that you just want to eat one after another after another. They're not too sweet, but very addictive. We really like the place. Because it's our first time ever visiting London, so I think the trip wouldn't be complete without traditional British afternoon tea. So we went to a hotel near the British Museum. The pastry dishes were just okay, but the atmosphere there was on point and the surface was great. So overall, we still had a great time. When we arrived in Leeds, it felt like we traveled back in time because the whole city is built with beautiful red bricks. The architecture here is absolutely stunning. I think this is the reason why it makes the whole shopping experience here so comfortable and calming in a way. I really like the chill vibes here. At the town center in Leeds, there's a good burger restaurant that I would recommend called Byron. I think it's an American restaurant, but their burgers are really legit. We just swallowed everything and we want to take our parents back here next time. And last, The Alchemist is a unique cocktail bar at Trinity Leeds. I ordered my go-to old-fashioned, it looked cool, and it did not disappoint me at all. How many times can you enjoy a good cocktail in a place surrounded by historical buildings? I think there are just no words to describe this wonderful feeling. So cheers to our wonderful time here in the UK and I can't wait to go back again next year. Bye!